Good morning, Jens. Good morning. We are here at the, the famous Theaterplatz in Chemnitz. I have to admit, when we entered the city, I was actually quite amazed by the unique look and feel of Chemnitz. How does that come? Well, it started off as many European cities as a, as a medieval city, yeah. but then in around 1800, in very sudden, everything changed. It was one of the first industrialized towns in Germany, and many factories were built, and then the change became constant, so to speak. It was yeah. always changing and changing yeah. again, and you still see this way the city looks today. I think there's a lot to be seen, so very interesting architecture between Bauhaus and Expressionism. We have uh, art collections here, uh, but we also have a theater here. We're standing in front of, of the Opera House. If yeah. you're a, a friend of Richard Wagner, it's definitely his place to, to go there. So here we are. This is uh, the meeting with Karl Marx's head. <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite amazing and very big. It is indeed, yes. <laughs> uh, the city was called Karl Marxstadt for 30, 40 years. We shouldn't forget this. Yeah, yeah. And this is why. <laughs> This, this monument was built then in, in 1975. Chemnitz will be the European capital of culture in 2025. What can we expect from that? Chemnitz always was a working town and it was largely unseen. And uh, that's what we feel at least. And so we gave the cultural capital year the motto Chemnitz the Unseen. And we want to make the unseen seen. And uh, there will be many events, exhibitions, shows and so on. Well, there are many projects um, in development now that will take place here in, in two years. So why should people come to Chemnitz to visit this town? It's a city full of contrast, full of change. You can see it in the architecture and if you go to the city you find different places, different views in every corner.